Hey YouTube, this is Carrie Scrapping for a Dart. Um, this is part two. Um, I was going to have a three part series, but now it's going to jump to four parts. There's just so much stuff we got. I got some more stuff today too, but I'm not going to show that in uh, this four part video series. It'll be just a separate video. Um, so this is some of the stuff we got yesterday that, um, and one thing we got today, this is stuff that we're going to put on eBay. And we've got quite a good collection of stuff here. There's a never open Barbie uh, camping adventure book um, and cassette. Um, there's a old school cell phone. Um, haven't looked that up yet. There's those uh, Tupper toy, those ball sorters. I don't know if you remember those from a kid, but uh, they still sell, and even the shapes sell separately. Um, we found these uh, mini slot machine banks. Um, there's a jackpot slot. I looked that up. They don't really sell that well, to be honest with you. But this other one makes up for it. It's it's the Nevada um, Bonanza Bank. Um, if it didn't say Nevada on it and just Bonanza Bank, it wouldn't be as worth as much, but these ones do sell pretty good. Um, we this hit the jackpot on magazines. Those are all life magazines um, from like the early 70s all the way back to the 40s. Same with the Times. There's some there from the 40s. Um, this miner's lamp, I went back to a sale today that I was at yesterday. I was going to buy it yesterday, but I didn't. But I decided to today, and I found out that that is a gold mine in itself. Um, we paid five bucks for that, by the way. Um, here's some Mark's uh, toy train stuff. There's also a little Lionel, Lionel mixed in there as well. Um, there's the track. Um, this is really cool. It's actually a Ford Company um, gumball machine. It's from the 30s. This camera, I'm sorry, it's just not that good. It won't focus. Um, I'm not sure if it's affiliated with Ford uh, automobiles or not, um, but it does have the Ford name on it. Um, I'll be looking that up. Uh, this is a Snoopy Hi-Fi radio, and I, I needed to uh, have to use some steel wool to clean up the contacts, and get away but from it does that work. It's really cool. Um, I tried looking them up on eBay. I didn't find any, so I'm hoping it's rare. Um, it's missing the battery cover, but still it's pretty clean. Um, so that'll go on eBay. Um, these are not sterling silver, but these are silver plate. They're still old, like Rogers Company and uh, some other stuff like that. I'm not sure exactly what the silver plate goes for. I know it's nowhere near what sterling does, but we didn't pay very much for it, so we'll be getting some money out of that. Um, I just wanted to show you, too. Um, we also got some Saturday Evening Post, same thing. Uh, variety of years, all the way back to the 40s. Um, some of these are really valuable. Um, almost all the magazines here are going to sell from at least a dollar to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars a piece. Um, I pulled out some to show you. Um, the Disney World opens. Uh, there's some stuff about Marilyn Monroe. This one's it says cancer may be infectious. That's weird. But Marilyn Monroe, uh, a skinny dip you'll never see on the screen. Um, there's some more Marilyn Monroe stuff. Jackson Five. Um, there's some stuff on the Warren Report um, for the assassination. Some of these 40s Life magazines um, with the war. Um, these are really expensive. This one here, 30 bucks by itself. Um, there's Time Magazine with some stuff on Notre Dame. I haven't gone through hardly any of these magazines yet. I just pulled out some interesting ones for you. And I'm hoping this camera shows. It's just terrible when it comes to trying to focus on stuff. Um, Damn, I just can't get it to focus, but like the Nevada uh, slot machines, like on eBay, if I could just get it to focus, it just won't do it. I mean, you guys can look this stuff up on your own, um, just as proof, but it's showing that these are selling, you know, anywhere from $10 to $60 for that. Um, like the Life magazines, there's that flag one right there. Um, I just wish it would focus. It says $34. Um, they go on and on like that. You can actually buy, like there's the one down here with the gunner guy. Um, that one says $14.99. Um, there's another one for $20.47. The one I just showed you. Uh, there's one Disneyland, or Disney World opens. There's one that went for 40 by itself. There's one that just went for 5 by itself. It's just, you know, how eBay is if you guys do it. Um, this will be a variety of different prices. Um, Time Magazine, there's the one with the Notre Dame football player, that one went for $22. Um, so anyway, sorry this camera just won't focus, but uh, that's what I get for paying 100 bucks for a digital camera. Um, anyway, um, this is about what I got to show you right now. Um, there'll be two more videos, I'll be doing uh, a little bit more of my stuff. That's my model collection in the background, I'm a big model collector. Um, anyway, but if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, this stuff is going to go on eBay. So um, you can either email me privately through YouTube or whatever. And uh, if you want my uh, 
eBay user ID, I can give it to you. Um, I'm not going to list all this stuff, of course, in one day, I just don't have the time with working full time, but um, slowly I'll be putting this stuff on. I'll probably put on the slot machine today and definitely the Snoopy Hi-Fi and uh, maybe a few other things I might put on that uh, old gumball machine and see how it does. But I did research some more of this stuff. I didn't tell you all the prices yet, and there is a lot of stuff here. And I guess I forgot this too. This is a Dell, uh, gosh, what's it called? It's a port replicator, but it was never used, brand new in box. I think it was two bucks, still in the package. We'll see if that sells or not. Anyway, um, there'll be more to come. Um, hope you like and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, this is really fun for me. I really like going to yard sales and I like showing this stuff to you guys and showing you how we can make some money. So anyway, um, any questions, contact me. Thanks. Take care.